Go ahead. Civility ruled as polar opposites on gun issues packed a hearing room and the overflow crowd filled a lobby. Yeah. Among the controversial measures under consideration, allowing teachers and other school employees to bring a concealed weapon into the building. Allow local school boards to have the opportunity to decide whether they want to have certain school personnel armed to protect our children. The bill opens the door for Baltimore City to allow its resource officers to carry guns. But it's teachers packing pistols that has educators concerned. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea because we don't want guns in our schools. Security experts point out that 10 other states have similar laws on the books. A group called Faster Saves Lies trains school personnel. The bottom line with active killings are the timeline. We don't have the time to get outside our traditional first responders into the building before too many of our children die. Another measure that's raising eyebrows enables religious congregations to arm church or synagogue goers. This is not a bill that lets every person sitting in the congregation uh, have a firearm strapped to their hip. This would be a pilot program for Harford County only. The proposal is backed by Sheriff Jeff Gaylor. Something that just enables the congregations, the places of worship, uh, if they so choose, to put whatever rules, regulations, training requirements in place. Several pastors lined up in opposition. Our sanctuaries are sacred space, and it's not a place where we want to normalize violence because of anything. You know, we are that pushback against a, a, a culture of violence. State House presiding officers oppose enabling churchgoers to carry firearms and services. The governor opposes arming teachers. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.